Hello Abacus user. Welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Uh, today's session we are not going to solve any problem but uh, we are just trying to uh, understand what different uh, periodic amplitude we can give in Abacus. Now uh, whenever you define uh, now defining a periodic amplitude you have to sometime define a force in a sinusoidal wave or you have to define how the displacement is going to decay over a period of time or there is a variable load it's a linear uh, increasing load or linear decreasing load uh, so there are multiple things uh, in terms of defining the uh, amplitude corresponding to load so you can define amplitude to like a force pressure displacement velocity acceleration so we'll first understand uh, this particular tutorial will not uh, do any example but how we can define a periodic amplitude of uh, different nature in abacus that is our the first exercise so i just open uh, right now is uh, abacus cie 6.1.45 i can quickly go and make the back shade white now i'll where the amplitude is there so below if you go to the tree below field you see the amplitude so i just go to the amplitude right click and create so first we'll make a sinusoidal amplitude so i say sine wave so i define a sign given a name sine wave periodic and then i say circular frequency right now i'm going to put one pi I'll tell you the the ordinary frequency versus circular frequency how is the relationship and how it is defined so I define a circular frequency I give on a starting time as 0 I say there is no initial amplitude a and B define the nature of sine curve so right now I put 0 and 1 I'll show you how it changes when you use a and B uh, these are two constants when you use it change the nature of course so I define circular frequency as one uh, sorry pi one pi 3.15 starting time 0 initial amplitude 0 a I define 0 B I define 0 so I define it now now within abacus we can also plot this using a plotter so I'm in load module you go to plugin you go to the tool and you say amplitude plotter and you say plot it so it just just plotted the sine wave for us so if you see this sine wave it's starting from 0 it peaked to 1 which we define using B initial amplitude is 0 a 0 so it started from 0 it peaks to 1 then at uh, it comes to 0 then it go to minus 1 and it complete the cycle at a time equal to 2 this is a time this is equal to the time so this is the time given so this is one thing so we'll just go quickly and understand what it is so this is what exactly I define I define so Omega and uh, the the ordinary frequency which is in Hertz so Omega is equal to 2 pi F where F is a ordinary frequency which is measured in Hertz this frequency also defined as 1 by time which is nothing but in second so if you convert this frequency like 1 by time so 2 pi by time equal to the angular or circular frequency which is in radians per second now I define here for this first exercise first uh, amplitude what we define is a pi so I define pi is equal to 2 pi omega if I take a t to the left hand side and pi here so my time become 2 so this is what exactly you see my time is is equal to 2 at the time is equal to 2 my cycle get completed so let's go and see so this is my time is equal to 2 I complete a one cycle so I complete a complete a sine wave 
time is equal to true. Now, now we'll play around here. Now I'll define one more sine wave. Sine wave and I'll say periodic again. Sine wave 2 I'll give name. I'll say periodic. I'll say frequency now 6.28. I define as a 2 pi. And I say starting time is equal to 0, initial amplitude is equal to 0, and my time is equal A is 0, B is 1. And I want to see how, how it looks like. So I plotted it. Now, now look at a time. So my full sine cycle get in time is equal to 1 second. Now I'll just go back to drawing board again. And understand now my omega is 2 pi so if I take my time to the left hand side 2 pi by 2 pi so my complete sine cycle finish in one second if my my circular frequency is pi then my total time is a 2 this is what is a difference when you play with omega so as you move higher omega the time the sine wave time gets squeezed so if I, I we can do one more here say I'll I'll change this I'll just edit it and I say now the 4 pi so 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 it's a 12 point uh, 56 so I'll plot this now So now you see time period become a 0.5. So as you increase the omega, the time period gets squeezed for sine cycle. So if you have a say one second cycle and if your omega is equal to pi, then it will take only one sine cycle. If your step time is one and you put like a four pi, then you have like 0.5. So you have two cycle going on. So this is what related to sine sine wave. Now let's uh, create one more amplitude which is very important for the abacus user is a smooth time. Now the smooth time uh, smooth step is actually used mainly for quasi static simulation or metal forming simulation where you want to apply a time initially it's a slow application of time and gradually it increase so we'll define a smooth time so smooth time is like I give one like time is equal to 0 my amplitude is 0 time is equal to 1 my amplitude is 1 and time is equal to 2 my amplitude is 1 and I don't want a straight line so I'll I want a smooth thing so I put a smooth function there so you see now it doesn't plot a linear thing like 0 to 1 and then straight line it from 0 to 1 it smooth the curve it smooth in a s fashion curve so slowly slow application of load gradually and then then going with a gradual decrease increase and then going to a straight line which we are defined now this particular smooth step is very important if you see something like a, like a convergence issue so for the convergence issue you should have a smooth more like a smooth step so this is regarding smooth so like if i doesn't define a smooth i said tabular and i say linear if you doesn't define like similar time and amplitude will define and when you go and plot this so it's not a smooth it's just a straight line but it is then the slope of the line is same so it just gradually increase and apply the load and when you make it, once you make it smooth it will apply in a s, s curve which will be like a slow addition of load then it will gradually increase and slowly then at the end it will apply the full load 
Now one more aspect we'll check with this the smooth wave finish. One more we'll check is a exponential decay. How we can plot a exponential decay in a uh, amplitude in a any uh, anywhere you want to exponential decay the displacement or acceleration. So I'll define again uh, say dk1 will define couple of exponential decay example to understand a different parameter so we say continue then you say initial amplitude i say 0.2 maximum amplitude i say 1 starting time of dk is 2 and dk time is 2 and i'll just plot this So now you see like initial amplitude 0.2 till 0.2 second then there is initial amplitude 1 and so the initial amplitude in that it will add maximum amplitude 1 and then is a decay over a period of 2. So this is the decay what you see. So if you want to see how the parameter used we'll, I'll see it. So initial amplitude 1, maximum amplitude 1, starting time 0.2 and decay time is 2. And then decay time 2 define how it's going to decay. If I increase that uh, decay time from 2 to 4, then then it will decay uh, quite slower. So this is what it's decay over a period of time. Now we'll plot one more dk2 which will be like initial time 0.2 maximum amplitude 1 starting time 0.2 and my dk time is I'm going to double so initially it was 4 I say now 2 I, d I say now 4 now you observe this it used to decay in a 8 second now it's decay into a 16 second so I just plotted that so if you see it is the same thing but it was decay at 8 time now it is decay at the 16 time so if you say decay time double it is going to decay over a period of time higher side now one more thing I just want to show the abacus user is how to change this because right now this text is very short not readable this is abacus default one so you double click on that and then you say title and then you say I want 24 more readable and then axis I want this like uh, this also 24 and then I'm going to change this right at title also I say applied and axis also I'll say 24 so this way you can change the title and more readable things you can do it now we'll just finish other two couple of things is like linear you see decreasing you can you can plot like at time is equal to 0 my amplitude is 1 and at time is equal to 1, one my amplitude is 0 so this is like a more decreasing trend so it decrease over a period of time also one thing you can define variable variable load again periodic something random like uh, at time is equal to 0 it is 0 then time is equal to 1 it is 2 3 then its time is equal to 2 it is 1 then time is equal to 3 it is 5 and then time is equal to 4 I say it's again 2 so this is like a random increase decrease also you can plot
so some random increase and decrease of things you can plot you can also have a triangular plot so this way you can uh, plot several things and the important thing is you can use the plugin amplitude plotter to plot and see how it looks like so this was a quick video and how you can plot and use amplitude in your analysis so thanks for watching don't forget us to like us and subscribe us thank you bye bye